Thank you very much for having me here. Um, uh, I would like to give you uh, the latest version of our of our adventures uh, in in the space. Um, let's move on. Uh, my name is Nils Boos. Uh, I am uh, um, uh, the first uh, uh, chairman of the com of the company when it was founded 15 years ago, uh, and I've been the CEO since 2014. So that's also quite some some years now. Um, uh, we have this, uh, the uh, CFO as well, uh, Trolls. He's not here today, but uh, Trolls Dalsgaard. He was uh, uh, also in the company that, that l a long time ago, uh, and uh, he was participating in when when we got listed here at the Nasdaq. Uh, the chairman of the company is Jens Måle. He's uh, got a lot of experience from um, from the, the space and defense industry in Denmark. He's the chairman of Grundfos. And the previous uh, chairman, I know you're not operating with vice chairman here in Sweden, but we are. Uh, that's uh, Jukka Kapertula, a, a Finnish guy. Uh, he's a top 10 uh, board member uh, in, in Denmark. <coughs> the company was founded in 2007 uh, and uh, out of the university uh, in Aalborg. Uh, and as I said, we were listed in 16 uh, up here. Today, we are around 200 employees. We are growing uh, quite a bit, uh, and uh, 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 it's, uh, it's going upwards, uh, and there's a lot to do uh, all the time. Uh, we have a, a long track record with many missions, uh, many uh, uh, products sold to other people's missions, and so forth. Uh, we were the first company to deliver nanosatellites for ESA, the European Space Agency. Uh, and uh, uh, as it says here, our core competence in these small satellites is radio technology, uh, which makes them very, the satellites very use, uh, useful. We, were, we have a lot of uh, uh, very interesting customers all around the world, all parts of the world we can export to, uh, because there's obviously a lot of sensitive technology that makes it not uh, 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 possible to, to, to export to some countries. Um, Last year, we had a turnover of 200, uh, 214 million Swedish, uh, and um, uh, we have a, a, right now an order backlog at 540 uh, million uh, Swedish kroner. Uh, the guidance for next year is uh, something between 264 and uh, nearly 300 million. Uh, it will all depend on how quickly we can get employees into the company. The, the trip that we are putting the, the company on now is, and we, we are announcing step-by-step uh, uh, step, uh, new parts of a strategy, is that um, today we are the technology leader within nanosatellites. But uh, to exploit the opportunities in the market, we are uh, building towards larger constellations uh, and standardizing the product range and eventually looking into how to, how to, serve, how to um, deliver services to our customers uh, as well on an infrastructure service basis. Okay. Uh, the market is growing very, very uh, 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 rapidly. Uh, this year, the, the market size is about 420 billion US dollars. Uh, in 2030, it's expected to be more than, than a trillion, up to 1.4 trillion. Uh, uh, and uh, that includes services, but also manufacturing. Okay, <clears throat> the, uh, we are part of the the, the biggest growing uh, 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 part of the space market, uh, uh, except for OneWeb and Elon Musk Space, uh, Elon Musk SpaceX, uh, uh, which drives a, a larger part of uh, of the the satellite uh, market. Uh, we, our uh, area is is the by far the, 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 the uh, uh, what's it called, a good growing uh, market. Our technology uh, is affordable. It's affordable for companies, but it's also affordable for countries. And that means that uh, today there's about 100 countries that have space programs. We're working, for example, with Colombia uh, at the moment, teaching them and building up their, their, their space capacities it's illegal opal mining uh, that's a big problem in, uh, in, in Colombia, and you can see that from very small satellites. Okay. The, uh, the journey that we are uh, going on now is that, as I said, we are a technology leader. We are growing the market now, or growing our business with 
more and more projects. But when we get projects into the company, we need many engineers. The next phase that we're going into is standardizing so that it, we are having more products in our portfolio. That means also that we can, that, or it means two things. It means that we can grow, the market, grow our, our business quicker, we can scale quicker, but we can also make more money on it than, than we do, do today. Uh, we can grow the market with, uh, uh, now, but we are not as profitable as we would like to do. The next step is to scale up production uh, we are uh, getting more closer and closer to large constellations and scaling up the production will again make it possible for us to grow the, 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 uh, the earnings but, but also scale the company uh, on that. And eventually our aim is to be able to deliver the satellite platforms for other people to put instruments on uh, on a service basis. We can see that many of our customers have larger cost of capital than, than, than we would have in, in that situation. So we're driving towards that in, in our, in our longer-term uh, planning at the moment. We are uh, located in... Uh, headquarters is in Denmark. Uh, uh, the head office, you could say, is here in Sweden because we are, we are listed here. But we also have a, a, a subsidiary here that makes propulsion for nanosatellites. Uh, and then we are in Luxembourg. The Luxembourg government has supported space a lot, so that means that we are building up the, the facilities there. And by the start of this month, we have also started in, in Toulouse, in France, and will build up a presence there. Uh, uh, we can get good engineers in that area. That's, that's the, the, the reason for being there. Uh, then we have a sales office in, uh, in, in, in the United States, uh, where we can sell to uh, commercial customers. We are not p positioned yet to sell to, to, uh, to defense customers. But we will build up our European presence first before we will uh, take a bigger step to, to, to go to the US. Uh, we have a beautiful headquarter in Olbo, uh, very close to the university. We have all the facilities for pr producing, developing and, and, and so forth. Um, <clears throat> we what we are doing is that we are making all the, 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 the satellites, we are developing the parts of the satellites, we are putting the satellites together uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, making them, uh, uh, what's it called, a total product. Then on top of that, we can make the radio payloads. That means the radio uh, technology that can sense uh, uh, what's happening on the ground or they can communicate to or from the ground and to, to other satellites. And then we can put it together in total constellations for our customers, meaning that we can control the satellites from the ground, uh, uh, we can help them getting all the licenses, we can get, help them getting all the launches and, and, and so forth. So it's, it's, a, it, it's a turnkey solution that we can provide to our customers. <clears throat> the, the market is driven by, by digitalization. I think all of you have heard that for many years, that uh, that's the case. But that has also reached space now, and, and the, the, the space solutions uh, can, can play a part in this because it can potentially be done at a very low cost compared to, to, to terrestrial systems or, or, or fiber systems. One case study um, is that we are making satellites now for air traffic management. We were the first ones with that, with that satellite you can see here uh, to show that it is possible to track aircrafts over, over uh, remote areas, uh, high seas and things like that. Uh, at the moment, we are making three very, very advanced satellites for Indra uh, um, uh, and, and IRA uh, in, in Spain. Uh, they are the top three uh, air traffic management companies in the world. Uh, and for that, we will be able to make air traffic management, a solution for air traffic management, everywhere on the face of the Earth. That means that uh, uh, an aircraft like the M MH370 will never disappear without you know where, where it happened. Or, or you, you would have uh, more distress, distress signals coming back at, at an earlier time. Um, but it's also uh, include, uh, or, or what's it called, um, giving enormously savings. When you have the aircrafts going over the, the Atlantic, for example, they are flying in corridors, and they're flying with a, with, uh, with, a, with a long distance between each other, and, and, uh, in the corridors and between each other, because they are on their own when they're out there. 
With this system, you can have the VHF connectivity with them anywhere on the Earth, and you know exactly where they are. It means you can place them closer, and it means that you can save a lot of energy, a lot of energy. Uh, with this. So this is, uh, this is a, a very, very interesting business case that have taken new developments with, uh, with the Indra uh, um, uh, order that we have with them. <coughs> um, yeah, and with this we are uh, really on track to develop the company from a technology company to a, 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 a more product-oriented company and eventually to a service company. Every time we take these steps in, in the company, we open up a larger addressable market. For technologies, the addressable market is about 1 billion. For constellations, it's about 4 billion US dollars uh, annually. For services, it's about 10 billion uh, US uh, uh, dollars uh, uh, revenue potential or, or total addressable market for us. So that's very interesting. And the earnings go up accordingly to that as well. So that's a, that's a trip that we're putting the company into now uh, over, the, over the next years. <clears throat> and um, just some financial at the end of, of my presentation here uh, is that uh, we have been able to drive the growth uh, 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 with in, in the technology phase uh, uh, and, uh, and we are uh, also on the back of a, a big, what, what do you say, um, uh, um, we had a big crisis because we lost a big customer at some point. You can see the numbers there, they were, they were very bad. But we survived that and we have put the company in a, in a completely new situation and be able to, to, to work positively uh, into the future. Uh, the order backlog is very good. Uh, we are uh, uh, having a, a, a very good response for everything that we do uh, for our customers. So that's, uh, that, that's a, a very good situation as well. Um, the shareholder structure, for those who, who, who don't know, we are, have about 10, 15,000 uh, uh, small shareholders, and uh, the biggest one is 10%, and the next is 3 and, and, and 2% uh, after that. Uh, so so uh, it's, it's very much spread out uh, uh, as it is. To give a, um, what's it called, uh, highlight, we are a pioneer in this area, and we are uh, uh, now uh, positioned to be able to capture the, gr the large growth uh, for the future. Um, the, the outlook for us is very good uh, uh, because we have a very good order book uh, and, uh, and we also have a very good reception for our products in, in the market. We are positioned to scale up with con uh, constellations. We have the first uh, order coming, coming closer and closer to us now. Uh, and uh, we, we are the strongest with regards to technology at the moment in, uh, in, in, in our segment. Uh, so, uh, and we have a, a, a very, very strong track record for, for, for the company. So with these words, maybe a little bit quicker than intended, but I hope it gave a, a good overview for, for, for where we are and what we are doing. Okay. Well, thank you very much, James. Uh, question about the satellite industry. Yeah. Um, is there a risk of overcrowding in space? How well regulated is this, is this field of the business? Um, th there's a lot of space up there. Th that we know. But, but if, you, if you look at the, uh, how it was with the pollution of, the sea, uh, of the, uh, the, the sea for 30 years ago, you said it's no problem. Uh, and you didn't do anything. Mm. And today we have a big problem that's very, very difficult to solve. I think it's the same that's going to happen in space. If we do not uh, uh, make sure that we are more careful now, we will, have, we will have very, very big problems in the future. So what is important is that whenever a satellite is, is sent up, that there's a mechanism to take it out of orbit again once it's not being used. So at least it's only those that are being used that's up there. Uh, the other thing with regulation is difficult because uh, uh, there's no speci specific owner. Every, every country has to be, uh, be uh, uh, in agreement to what to do. So it's UN treaties uh, that's put into, uh, into uh, what's it called, legislation in every country and not everyone is following that. So, so, and, and it's very slow to have this uh, regulation. Uh, but, but we don't see that there is something that's holding the business back at the moment. 
the biggest challenge uh, is radio frequencies. That is to have the, the right to, to send and receive uh, from space. That's, that's the biggest uh, challenge uh, for, for, for the business. I foresee that there will be space traffic control like air traffic control. Mm. Uh, that, that's an absolutely necessity for, for the future. Mm. Uh, Nils, in terms of aviation, you mentioned the energy savings perspective. Yeah. Could you please elaborate a little bit on that? Maybe I was not the only one who didn't quite understand the, the energy savings yeah. perspective in, in that transition. When you fly from here to, I think there's one for San Francisco, uh, here from, 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 Sto uh, from Stockholm, isn't there? When you fly there, you cannot fly the, the optimum route because there ah, it's there's the many. Perspective. Yeah, yeah, it's the routing because there's many many aircraft in here, so they have to. Mm. Uh, but if you if you can place them closer, you don't have to take a detour as because as, as, as otherwise, and also the timing getting into the airport, so you don't have to circulate over the over the uh, b b before you can get in. You can plan uh, at, at the long distance because you know exactly where the aircraft is. And I assume there is a safety aspect added too. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Nils Boos. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.